And so, I declare not a big friend of GNOME Tab's design for a couple of reasons. For start I don't like the tabs are hidden by default, especially on apps that are very tab use oriented, like the terminal. But they save space you may argue. Not really. Because tabs on this case could be on header bar instead of all this blank. So eventually we actually lose space, and lots more. Another thing I'm not a big fun of, is how GNOME tabs get resized. But it's okay. Let's say Apple knows better. But what really bothers me is when we're trying to close some of them, and then they get dynamically rescale, so we lose the close button and we need to move the cursor and re-aim, and that gets so crazy annoying that it's better to use keyboard instead. Obviously that is easier to reproduce on a web browser, and in fact I have already made my complaints to GNOME Web, without even using it. And exactly because I'm not using it, I'm not sure since when, but now the tabs retain their size on closing till we move the cursor outside the tab bar. So basically we can now do a rage multi-quit. And this feature I believe deserves a moment of silence. Comrade Chino? Yes sir! Baby world dailies are so stupid. In the meantime, do you see this naked spot on the bottom? That's caused by dash to panel extension and it creates a super larger visual issue than that. You see this kicked in when we close the overview? And one more if you missed it. Perhaps it is more noticeable when we have windows. But in any case it is the worst desktop issue ever, and it also happens on Windows 10 overview since ever, and it drives me crazy. I guess what I'm trying to say is that desktop software may can't do much but it is more fun than any other software because it always has to be pixel perfect.